What's up, what's up everybody? Update 511 is finally here. We're so excited about it. Actually, most people probably aren't that excited about it, unless you love guild content. If you love guild content or you are a guild leader, this is the update for you. This is very exciting for you. So most of it is just guild related stuff. Let's go over it, we'll talk about it, and, we'll, and, then, and then we'll go look at the transmogs. That's the exciting part. So, uh, update 511. Like I said, mostly guild stuff. Uh, Tartarus Labyrinth Improvement. The transmogs look nice. We'll look at those in a second. You can now save monster decks according to stage type. Save up to six monster decks. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you just get more monster decks. Basically, two TLDR. Uh, more monster decks. Balancing adjustment. You can use monsters that were already used in successful battles in other battles with no limitation. Their initial idea for the Tartarus Labyrinth was... Let's inspire people to build more six stars and rune more monsters. And we're like, we don't have the runes. You didn't give us the runes to keep ruining all these monsters you wanted us to use. So we're just using whatever we have. And if we can't do hell stages, were you doing normal stages or hard stages? So the initial thing was to have players build a whole bunch of six stars. That's always the thing that they want us to do. It's like, with Dimensional Hold, build more new monsters. <laughs> like, please stop making us build new monsters. We're having a hard time ruining the ones that we already have to do for PvP. So anyway, you can reuse monsters now. That's great. Convenience improvement, uh, balancing adjustment. So uh, also, difficulty stages has been adjusted. The TLDR on these bosses, the Leos, Kodos, Gillies, um, now they're going to attack slightly less. It even says, and the bottom, the previous Guardian Labyrinth, the, the what the? Previous Guardian of Labyrinth passive skill could attack consecutively with the boss's attack bar remaining, even if the skill was activated. Now, he's going to reset after the skill is used and no additional attack. So he's going to just attack less overall. Your team's going to take less damage overall. It's kind of like the same thing what they did to the, um, the raid boss. So he's going to attack less, your team's going to take less damage, it's going to be a little easier to, uh, to beat it. So, that's, that's that for that. Drop reward improvement! Oh my goodness! It already, uh, it actually drops better stuff than R5 and, uh, Kairos Dungeon. I mean, like, you only get to do it five times a day, so a lot of people are like, I don't care about something that I can only farm five times a day, I would rather just disregard it if it's a little bit better drops. I would rather disregard it, not build teams specifically for something that I only get five times a day. Uh, but it is even increasing the drop rates even more. Hell level only six star runes will be dropped as clear. It doesn't say doesn't say what kind of six star runes. It says six star. Could be flat, slot two. Slot two flat defense. Whoopie do. What am I gonna do with that? It's a six star rune though. Thanks, come to us. Thanks. So or or it gives you like terrible it's like energy guard or endure. Flat defense slot two. Like, oh <laughs> you psyched me up for nothing. But it is at least uh, upgrading the um, the drop rates, man. On some of my alts, I'm doing like, so I'm like, oh, let me just run a normal stage. It's like violent legendary grind. I'm like, whoa, 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 what? I have screen caps. I screen cap all that stuff. I send it to my guildmates. They're like, you're an a-hole. I'm like, that's what I was just doing the thing with the alt. And it happened to be normal level will drop legendary stuff, guys. Seriously. I mean, most of the time it doesn't happen, but it's still it's still a better drop rate than um, than doing the other stuff, and you can get legend from normal. Um, I know some of you guys in the comments are like, "Yeah, I I run it too. I've gotten drop rate uh, legend stuff." Let me know in the comments if you've gotten uh, legend stuff from normal. Let me know. Uh, anyway, because I know I'm not the only one. Anyway, uh, that's the thing. There, guild battle improvement improvement has been made to the number of attacks the guild gets from other guilds. Uh, it's just a matchmaking improvement. Guild improvement. So this is uh, informing you how to join a guild. This is search conditions. It's kind of nice. So you can find the guild that meets your criteria more. A lot of times when people are like trying to promote their guild, yeah, I, I, I don't like it when they do this. They're like, this is what we don't want. We don't want this people. We don't want those people. If you don't have this, you can't join. If you don't have that. And they're like, how come no one wants to join our guild? I'm like, oh, well, you t keep you, the first thing people know about your guild is how much you don't want them in it. So, of course, they're not going to join it. It's like all just negative stuff. Like, why you want to join a guild? It's like, starts out the interaction by being negative. Just my two cents, uh, right? You want to entice them. You want to be like, yeah, we love cupcakes. Do you love cupcakes too? Join up. Maybe that's only enticing to me. But anyway, I would join a guild that liked cupcakes. Anyway, moving on, uh, 
This is something that the community, especially guild leaders, have been requesting. Guild activity uh, indications. So we see that in some of the events, and everyone was like, when the events came out, everyone on the internet, on forums, were like, please make this a permanent thing we want. Like, the guild leaders were like, make this a permanent thing. We really want to see who's doing the most guild activities so that we can uh, see who's not carrying their weight and remove them and get new, new blood in. So, um, it's nice that we can now see how, uh, how, how active different people are. Uh, convenience improvement, sorting criteria for defense decks for Guild Siege, which, if you don't really pay too much attention to that or don't really take towers in Guild Siege, that really is relevant to you. Um, so, uh, according to arena ranks with, of Guild members and then according to decks with most successful defenses. Uh, and then we have, oh, the power-up circle, lock status. So, let's uh, take a look at that. Hooray, hooray! We can see the, uh, let's say, I want to do this. Power up circle, lock status. I want to do, like, let's say, oh, I want to unlock Samoth. You can unlock him here. You used to not be able to do that before. So now you can unlock him. It's just a little thing. I actually kind of wanted this. So, weirdly enough. <gasps> we have a summon, guys. Oh, it's going to be a net five. It's always a net five, isn't it? It's going to be a net Oh, it's not a net five. Come to us. Unsum uh, 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 unsummon, uninstall, uninstall the game. Okay, so we have other stuff. We have this 2,000 day special pack, appreciation check-in gift. Oh, by the way, guys, I got new headphones. Do you like them? I got new cans. Don't you like my big, they're bigger. My new cans are bigger than my old cans. <laughs> These aren't new. These are actually, I just modified them. And I'm probably gonna post the video. It's a stupid video anyway, but I'm probably gonna post the video. YouTube.com slash Bagelmon. My second channel, if you guys don't already know, that's my second channel. We do the Killer App and Dirty Crap uh, first impression series. We, we've been doing that on that uh, on that account. Also, we've got some Dungeon Hour Champion stuff every so often. We do some Minecraft every so often. Some other stuff on the second channel. I've been posting to it like every day, so. Just FYI, if you guys didn't know. Anyway, appreciate you the, the cans. Yay, cans. Um, it's the same ones. I just changed them. It's the same ones. They were falling apart. Anyway, appreciation check and gift. We get some things because they appreciate us. That's nice. Okay. We get some uh, extra free stuff is not ever bad. Appreciation pack. I love how it's a appreciation. Shouldn't the appreciation pack be free if you're trying to appreciate us? If you're like, come, we're come to us. We appreciate you. Spend $70. We only appreciate you if you spend $70. <laughs> Although, I gotta say that the value of this pack is actually pretty good. If we take into consideration, I, this is over $100 in value. I think it's around like $130-ish, maybe, in value. Because uh, we got the 2,000 crystals, it's not bad, right? Uh, then we have the Devil Mons. I think Devil Mons are worth like four plus dollars. I don't remember what the exact price of the, the exact value of the Devil Mons are. But then we look at the, the, the Mystical Scrolls. And let's say the Mystical Scrolls are worth like $2 each or so, like $2, two plus, but let's just say $2 each. That's still $40 just for those scrolls. So that's not a bad value on the pack as, as it is. If you like to summon a lot of scrolls, then this is a good value pack for that. So anyway, uh, it just gives you a little bit extra value. And then if you use Amazon coins, that's even more value, right? So just for just FYI, let's take a look at these crazy monsters. Everything. Oh, I want to kind of take a look at those last. Okay, let's go for the Death Knights first. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see their butts. I like the Death Knight costumes, but are we really going to use the Death Knights unless they get a buff? Next, next balance patch. Yeah, they look so cool. If they get a buff, yo, they look so cool. Okay, let's see their let's see their skills that we're never gonna see because no one ever uses the Death Knights. Oh, that's not bad. Deadly Wave. That's mm, fairly. I mean, it's it's doesn't change the <laughs> change the camera angle, game. Change. I wish we could change. There we go. Oh, that looks way cooler there. I mean, but it always does when the camera angle is changed. Oh my goodness. I mean, they use a lot of similar, uh, of course they do, a, lo a lot of similar uh, particle effects, but. Decl uh, I like, 
I mean, I feel like that's mostly taken from other stuff. Like, they're, they're so very similar to the other stuff. But the, the outfits are cool. Animation's not anything too crazy. Outfit's super cool. So far. So far. I mean, it's fair. It's not as crazy as like the other. Oh, you. Oh, 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 we can't revive anymore. There's no extra monsters. There's no extra monsters there. I like the colors. Minty fresh. It's the the minty fresh death knight. Mmm. He fights black. <laughs> okay. Moving on, moving, he does, he looks like a toothpaste death knight. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that is a bad thing, I'm just saying he looks like a toothpaste death knight. Tell me he doesn't. Tell me he doesn't look like you took like a suit of armor and you like squeezed like crest gel in there. Okay, moving on, next one, dice magician. Very cool, very cool. Let's look at the butt. Can't even see the butt. That's a point off in the... Every, all these dice magicians have cool transmogs. But point off for not seeing any uh, any buns. Any thick buns. Monty's an underrated unit. Let's go, Monty. Ooh, roll again, passive. Oh, I like the little, uh, these things. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like those. Yeah, he's he's they they put more effort into this one than they did the other one. Than they did the the Dragon Knight uh, animations at least. I like those animations. These these they always do good. Someone at Comptos, one of the art department people at Comptos, is like, yo, dice magicians. Like they love dice magicians. I don't know. They love them. Because they put the effort into the Dice Magicians every single time. Ooh! T tell me this is not- this is more effort put in than the, uh, than the Death Knights. This is cool though. This is- that's pretty- that's pretty cool. Additional turn. <laughs> oh my god, he's procking by himself. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, okay, I really like these dice magicians. These dice magicians are nice. <sighs> kind of want to win just for all the trans. I miss a lot of trans books. I'm like, I you, you can't just buy every. Pa well, you can just buy every pack, but then you may not have money for everything else. Hey, these are cool. But, yeah, I don't buy all the transmog packs. I would rather buy... I mean, I, I want to buy the transmog packs, but... You know, it still gives you better... The transmog packs still give, give you better value than anything else. Because you're like, you get what you pay for. You get the transmog, there's no RNG involved. It's not like, oops, you didn't get it. Like, no. You buy the transmog pack, you get the transmogs. So I feel like maybe this is the best value pack. <laughs> Additional turn. Yep, that's what he does. Oh, that was a lucky one. If you get low numbers here. Yeah, you don't do that every night. <laughs> I play with you enough that you don't do that all the time. I'm gonna keep rolling what- yeah, sure you are. Sure you are, Monty. Alright. Nice dice magicians are great though. Panda Pajama Kung Fu Girl. I want to make a comment who this looks like. I won't make any comments on who this looks like, but... Lulz. No one even uses her. Panda Kigo- oh, 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 the dark one's different. The dark one's different. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. The eyes are X's here. Because she murders everything. These eyes are like the little pink hearts and the little things. And this is different. The panda face is different in all of these. Well, no, not all of them. Just the light darks. The light darks pandas are, are, are different. Panda faces. Look at that. Panda faces are different. I see you come to us. Sneaky. 
But I caught it. I caught it. Okay. Are those little hearts? And stars? And horseshoes? And red balloons? Oh, this is for ladies. Oh, ho, ho, all the little shooting stuff. Yeah, this is even more effort than the uh, the Dragon Knights. Because the Dragon Knights, like, some of those animations are just uh, very similar to other stuff that was already done. But they do that every time they, they release some of them. Pew, 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 pew. It's like I'm watching a Care Bear in Summoner's War. Okay, and then the one that no one's ever gonna use. This is gonna be the only time you ever see this animation in use, because no one uses her. And... It's just random strips. Like, why do you- what do you need a multi-hit random strip? It's- it's... Maybe she'll get a buff, maybe she'll get a change. The other ones are just, uh... More useful. She's the coolest one. Ah, Faye's the coolest one. Faye's the coolest one. I wouldn't mind a Faye. Uh, Faye has been less meta relevant. Like, remember Faye used to be like a big thing in like the first couple seasons? People were like cleaving and they were using Faye. I was like, man, I want Faye. You don't see her as much anymore. Because people just, one of the things people just uh, can counter her better now. They're like, I'm just going to bring stuff that revives itself. Um... And then also she's RNG. Sometimes she doesn't ignore defense, so. She's still dangerous though! She's still dangerous. Sometimes everything just hits the one mark. She's like, okay, Vanessa, Triana, Perna, and, uh, Vol and not Volantis. Tyrannus. Your move. Enjoy the Fae. Like, oh, damn. Okay. Anyway. And Odin, right? So, we saw all of those. Not bad. Sea Emperor! Let's see it. Let's see the Sea Emperor butts. Can't see the Sea Emperor butts, so that's already, uh... People were, people were telling me I was wrong. They were like, you're wrong, this is the Lightning Emperor, not the Sea Emperor Bagel. You're wrong, you're stupid. I was like, it says it in the notes. In the section. It said, it said I wasn't, like, making it up. I, I just read the thing. It's like, oh, Sea Emperor. But yeah, uh, a handful of people told me that, actually. They were like, tell me I'm wrong. People love to tell me I'm wrong. I'm like, you, you read the notes then first before you tell me I'm wrong. Um, will we see buffs on these? Please don't see, we don't need any more buffs on the, the normal element ones, at least the light dark ones. I don't even have the light dark ones. I have the normal element ones, I don't have the light dark ones. I'm literally saying buff the ones I don't have. Because the ones I don't have are the ones that... We already talked about that, but anyway, let's uh... Let's see. Are these cool enough to warrant buying all the transmox? Not bad. It looks pretty, it looks pretty cool. Oh! Let's see it without the camera. The crazy camera, that's not bad. Rain of stone. Oh, 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 he's, he, he did little balls. There was some little ball action. That's pretty cool. Also, I really like Okinos. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. What about Poseidon? Master of the Seas. Not like Triton, who's Master of the Cheese. No, he's Master of the Seas too. It's pretty nice though, I like those. See, those are, those are different, those are interesting. <gasps> oh, tentacles! Are you sure you're not Japanese come to us? What's with the tentacles? Tentacles are cool though. Tentacles. <laughs> Bagel, we're gonna quote you on that. Bagel likes the tentacles, I see. That's cool. That is a cool animation. You tell me that's not a cool animation. The waves and the tent. There's much. There's more thought put into this than the uh, the Death Knights for sure. And a little blast in the face. Typical bagel. Oh, more tentacles! More tentacles! I like the tentacles, man. That's a, that, that's, ah. Oh. Does anyone else think this art team is kind of half, uh, half carrying the, the game? <laughs> I mean, not saying, but kind of. Ooh! Yo, jellyfishes? 
Yo, that's pretty cool. Oh, please buff his skill. I want to see people using him more. I want to see people using him more with the jellyfish. And this is just a passive, so it's not really going to be anything. Yeah. Those are pretty cool, though. The tentacles and the jellyfish. I know I'm saying that wrong. I don't care. I'm doing it on purpose. Jellyfish. Heartless Gentleman Ifrit. Ifrit. I say Ifrit. Some people say Ifrit. They tell me I'm wrong. But then again, that's the cool. Is this the coolest Ifrit trim? Ifrit. Ifrit. Is this the coolest? Horny boy. <laughs> Horny boy. Wow. I. We've. We, okay. I should have just said Ifrit. 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 That's the coolest one. That. Or is it the cool? Do I think it's the coolest because it's new, or do I think it's the coolest because it's the coolest? I don't want to start using Veramoss again. Not really. Okay, let's see the uh, let's see the animations. They'll have passives anyway, so it's just mostly the first and second skill animations. Oh, he even does a thing after it. Look at that. He does like the little. Oh, that's my passive in action. That's pretty cool. See the nice thing about the. Um, about the horny boy. <laughs> the nice thing about the horny boys is everyone has them. So, they'll sell more because everyone has them. Or at least I feel, right? If you got things like, uh... Things that people don't... Like, three stars that people don't use. Like, how many are you gonna sell of those? You know? Or five stars that people don't have. Like, nat fives that people don't have. But that's why they don't put, like... When a monster's new, they don't put the, um... He's got a third skill. But when a monster's new, they don't put the um, transmogs for them for a while. People haven't even gotten a chance to experience the first skill just yet. Ooh! Super Crush. It's like a yeah. Oh my goodness! Justin, that is a crazy animation! There is a lot going on there. I kind of want to use a cam mirror like much more now. I know I just did a video on him, but... I don't use them like a super ton anymore. Because honestly, I just for the for arena offense for the most part at my at my level, there's a lot of strips. There's a lot of outspeed strip. There's a lot of uh, Samoth Tritons. There's a lot of Tianas. There's a lot of like everything's got a strip of some kind. So uh, at my level, I was I was doing um I was doing that video. I was doing the battles at high level, but still, it was it's it's kind of hard to find. It's easier to find less strips at lower levels. Like on my alts, that team would do much better because I'm not as high of a level. So. Very, I like the lightning, man. Look at the lightning. Oh, you can't see the lightning if it changes the thing. But they got like little lightning flashes. Yeah. And then Theomars. And of course, we're going to see the violent procs, right? Um, it's weird to see Theomars without the words additional turn coming from above him. I think these are my favorite, uh, horny boy transmogs. Favorite horny boy transmogs. What do I think are the best, most fun ones? Dice Magicians are pretty cool. These visually are cool, but I don't like the animation. I said that a million times. Sea Emperors are pretty cool! Transmog is cool here. Transmog is cool here. Transmog is pretty pretty nice here. Animations are super cool here. Animations are super cool here. The Dice Magicians. Dice Magician winner! Dice Magician winner. Anyway, pretty cool Transmogs though, overall. Pretty cool Transmogs. Uh, and, and update for Guild Wars stuff. Not bad. Let's see if these monsters are buffed in the next balance patch. Who knows? I know the Dice Magicians probably know. Because they just love to make transmogs for dice magicians, but the other ones, let's see if like the um, let's see if they do a Theomars buff. <laughs> He's not used in high level RTA. We need a Theomars buff. Um, anyway, we'll see if the light and dark um, sea emperors get a buff. We'll see if the death knights get a buff or something, make them more relevant. Anyway, that's it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you as always. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, I will see you as always in the next one.